Hi Pisces, it's thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're doing really, really well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Pisces. We will take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I will also choose a couple of oracle cards for additional information. So let's just get started with your reading. Okay, so we have the Nine of Wands, we have Strength, the Major Arcana, we have the Six of Swords. So the Nine of Wands is this icon figure. He has a bandage on his head. He's leaning on his wand for support. And it appears that he's looking off into the, a certain direction. He may be thinking, what's next? Boy, I've been through a lot, but I'm not ready yet to walk away. I'm not ready yet to lay down my, my wand and to call it quits. I'm going to hang in there. I'm going to keep standing. And I'm just going to, you know, either wait for further directions, instructions, information as I continue here to be ready to deal or to handle whatever adversity or obstacles or challenges are coming my way. You know, the nine of wands, you're so close to completion. It's a matter of having the determination to keep standing, to have the grit. And the word I always feel with this card is tenacity to protect your interest or perhaps you're protecting your family's interests or someone that you care about or that you love and regardless of the exhaustion or you know the weariness the being wary in fact you are still standing and you are going to take it through and so it's very complimentary to to when we see the strength card here in the strength card the woman is handling the lion. She's doing it through gentleness, through kindness, a, a soft touch. There's soft control and there's an approach sometimes with strength, which, which is not to always demonstrate brute force, but to pull it back a bit and to be loving and kind and to, to exhibit strength through vulnerability through compassion and empathy and you know, the, the, with strength there's an understanding that we know that deep inside of us our heart can carry us forward our heart can allow us the courage to do amazing things it can um, you know inspire us to be brave and that bravery and that courage, that comes from within. It also comes from an understanding of allowing you know, the goodness to rise instead of trying to push, to be brutal, to be forceful, to be uh, just, you know, trying, domin dominating or domineering. So we see strength here, this inner strength, which is going to allow you to continue to stand tall, to protect your interests, to defend your ideas, whatever it is that applies to you. So what's interesting here is the Six of Swords. This is a card of movement. It's a card of transition. And we see the oarsmen providing support and helping the two icon figures in the boat. We see the rippled water, we see the clear water, moving from a situation that has not served you, that you feel either stressed out about, upset, unhappy, whatever it may be. It's significant enough that you're going to move on. So sometimes these are permanent moves. We just feel that we have to pick it up and we have to leave. We either have to leave a relationship that is toxic or negative or stagnant, 
or we have to leave a job, we have to leave a community that isn't supportive, and we need to find the support that we need in order to get to that better place. And for some, maybe this is a temporary leave in order to sort things out, in order to get perspective, maybe get more answers from within and externally too. And perhaps you may, you'll be able to go back. So this is a ship or a small boat that is sailing. Now on a literal level, it could very well mean that you're traveling or that you are taking a boat and headed off to somewhere. So we have a case here where we are showing a lot of determination and a lot of strength to handle something that's uh, maybe bugging us or in our way or causing us to feel unsettled, uncertain, you know, putting us maybe in a defensive position, but we're not going to back down. And ultimately, what happens here may dictate or may lead to movement, to transition, to finding clearer waters, to finding more peaceful and serene um, places for you. So interesting cards. Let's take a look at what we have for numerology. We have 9 and 8 is 17, 17 and 6 is 23, and 23 reduces to 5. 5 is about challenges. It can be about having to be flexible and to adapt. It also can suggest new cycles, you know, finding freedom. And then finally, let's choose an oracle card as an affirmation for the day. There's nothing to worry about. You are safe and this situation is under the perfect control of divine providence and universal order. Only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure that the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly to and through you. Loving thoughts, loving care, loving touch through kindness, gentleness, compassion, consideration. So my friends, I hope that you have a wonderful day. If you found this reading helpful, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, share this video, comment below. Have a, again, have a super day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.